If you were to only have one pair of tennis shoes, period, this wouldn't be a bad choice, but there are fatal flaws. What is the only barefoot sneaker you'll ever need? That shoe is... How much of this stuff do you really need? I want minimal shoes. I don't want 20 pairs of shoes. I want to tread lightly with the ability to do what I need to do. I'm going to go through the only three pairs of footwear that you'll need. Boots, sandals, and everyday shoes. If you were to only have one pair of tennis shoes, period, this wouldn't be a bad choice necessarily. They're pretty comfortable, they fit well, they're functional, you know, they held up really well. I've, I wore these for years. You know, you can wear them rain or shine and you'll be fine. <laughs> they're versatile, you know, walking, running, you name it, these shoes will have your back. They're pretty neutral and they look fine enough, you know, uh, they kind of go with everything. You know, you can wear them with pants, you can wear them with shorts and, uh, and it'll work. You know, it's checking most of the boxes, but there are some major problems. The most important of which is that they're not good for your feet. The toe box is too small. Elevated heel, they have arch support, and all of these things over time are really not good for your foot health. In addition to that, you know, it's a little bit heavier than it could be, and at the end of a long day, you're still looking forward to throwing these things off. But, it is possible to find a shoe, the shoe that if you were to only have one pair of sneakers, one pair of tennis shoes, period, they check all the boxes. Now I've tried a lot of different shoes and a lot of them are great in different ways, but almost all of them fail to check every box. First off, we've got shoes that you know, might not check every box anyway, but can't even be considered because they're not good for your feet. Like these New Balances, like these Reeboks, you know, I liked these at one time, but not gonna happen. You need to get some really healthy, functional, versatile kind of shoes, like these Vibrams um, that are just simply not stylistically neutral at all. They do not look good with everything. At least in my opinion, I don't want to be wearing these around every day. If I could only have one pair of shoes, I just am not going to choose these, you know? Not to mention that they're not going to hold up in the wet rain either. And you got the Zero Kelso, which is a really cool shoe, but as far as the fit, it doesn't fit my foot perfectly. I probably got a half size too big, frankly. But in addition to that, it's kind of heavier than you might expect. It's heavier than most Zero shoes, and as far as foot health, they're more rigid than I would expect from a barefoot shoe, you know? So that's not gonna work for me. And my Wildling shoe, you know? Uh, these are a great barefoot shoe, you know, they're much, you know, more barefoot e. They're really good for your feet, but as far as function, you know, they break down pretty quick. You know, I stepped in a puddle one time, my feet got wet and they got stained and I had to try to clean them off. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you can't run in these. You just straight up are not gonna be able to run in these for any type of distance at all. Um, so these two aren't gonna hold up in our conversation today. So then where are we at? What is the only barefoot sneaker you'll ever need? What is the Nomad's shoe? The shoe that you can put on and forget about. The shoe that will take you anywhere you want to go. Let you do anything you want to do, pretty much. <laughs> the shoe that works for you.
the Zero Prio. Now you might be wondering, really that's it? <laughs> it's just the standard Zero shoe? Yes, it is. I got the Prio a few weeks ago, and ever since, I have been excited to put them on whenever I go somewhere. If I'm not wearing sandals, I'm wearing the Prio. It is super light. It is super barefoot, you know? I took out the insole. It is super comfortable. I've worn it out on a walk in the rain. My feet didn't get wet. I've ran in them. I've worn them with lots of different outfits. I traveled in them. I wore them all day. These shoes are just the bomb. They work. They do everything I want them to do. And I actually like how they look. You know, they've improved their colors over time. One of Zero's struggles is coming up with good color schemes for their shoes, but they are improving. I really like this color scheme. It, it works for me, you know? I've mostly had kind of lighter colored shoes, but I kind of like having the black and white one for, for this round. Not only that, they've just released the suede versions. There's also black on black. There's a few more passable colors in my opinion, but I really like this one. It works in pants and shorts. In the B-roll that I showed or am showing right now, <laughs> you know, I hopped over the fence in them. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. There, there isn't that much more to say about it. I already spoke about the things that a shoe needs to do, and it does everything that I need it to do. I love this shoe, and I will continue to get Zero Prio shoes as long as they make them. It's simple, it's functional, and if you are going to have one pair of shoes, this is the pair to get. Everyday sneakers at least. Now, the Zero Prio. That's great. But, we still gotta talk about the only pair of sandals you need to have and the only pair of boots you ever need to have. So come back for that. But for now, I love the Prio. Try them out. They're only like 90 bucks. Subscribe to the channel, like the video for more stuff like this. I love you. Kind of. <laughs> I bet I would if I met you.